How could anyone ask this question? <laughs> Who's the best UX designer in the world today? Why do designers drink so much? What's the difference between UI and UX design? Why is there such a high demand for UX design today? Well, you're gonna find the answer to those questions and many more in today's video. In this video, I'm gonna go on to Quora, the website where people ask questions and people answer them. And I'm gonna look at some of the top voted UX and UI questions. Let me know in the comments below if there's any questions that I didn't answer and we'll answer them all, like all day long, we'll answer your questions. We look, comments, likes, if you like this video, give it a like. Uh, thanks so much, let's go. All right, let's jump right into Quora. Okay, so this question, what has been causing the growth and demand for UX in the past two decades? So there's a lot of <laughs> answers here, but I'm gonna say that what I've experienced firsthand is that since the iPhone was released, so when the iPhone came out in 2007, there was a massive increase in demand for the role of the UX designer. Of course, there was UX and uh, user experience design and human interaction, human interaction design before the iPhone, but the iPhone was something that it made it explode because it sort of democratized the ability to make software and therefore more people needed software, more companies could make software cheaper, so more designers were needed. And I also think that people started to, started to see Apple as a company using UX design as a competitive advantage and everyone else wanted to jump on that train. And really for me, um, it was 2007 that really kicked off the explosion in the demand for UX. What's the difference between UI design and UX design? Well, UI design and UX design, I would say that this question is getting less and less relevant because nowadays, these days, and I've made a video about this, UX design and UI design and product design and all of these different design roles are splitting off into like dozens and dozens of different role types. But back in the day when this question was relevant, so maybe like four years ago, a UI designer was solely responsible for the actual UI, so the digital UI, user interface that you see in the product. So like the colors, the animations, and, and basically how it looks and feels to use. Whereas the UX designer was sort of creating the blueprint for what the product would be, sometimes from a strategic perspective as well. Back in the day, a few years ago, that would be like the UX designer was almost like the architect creating the building blueprint and the UI designer was the interior designer for that product, making sure that the whole experience inside was great. But it's very muddy these days. It's, it's completely mixed up these days. So the question is no longer relevant. Okay, so what are currently the best books about UI and UX design? Um, personal life, I haven't heard of any of these. I heard the, the design of everyday things, don't make me think. Don't make me think is definitely one I would read. So this is the, like the design of everyday things is quite good. It's very, very theoretical. I think it's good to have this theory in the background, but I think it's also something that, mm, it's definitely not gonna be the read that you can pretty much go straight from this book to be able to design uh, to, to designing products, but I think Don't Make Me Think is a great one on usability, which is one of the core things you'll need to know about when you're designing products. Um, the elements of user experience, okay. La, 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 la. Let's have a look here. The design of everyday things again. Read more on Medium. So someone has like Medium articles. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, here's a good one. Creative Confidence. I think that's a great book to read. I think one of the skills that UX designers really need to have is the ability to help teams come together and solve problems. And Creative Confidence and Sprint will do that for you. So obviously, I of course, re recommend Sprint as well. Um, what I would also recommend, ah, here's Sprint. That's recommended here. You know what? This is a great list here. Yeah, this is the list, UX strategy. So Romina Kavkik, this is the list that I would read. Uh, Sprint, Lean UX, Making Ideas Happen, this is great. The Design of Everyday th Things. Atomic Design, not sure. Um, not as in, I haven't read it, so, but I, I, I know the concept behind it. I'm not 100% sure if that's what I would read first. Lean Startup, this is huge. This is important to read if you're working on products. This is a great list from Romina Kavkik. Kavchik. I'm really sorry about the names, um, if I'm saying them wrong. I am saying them wrong. Okay, so books, I think we've got another, I think we got a, a couple of juicy ones in there. I'd throw one more in and I would, uh, it would be Hacking Growth. 
And the reason I would say hacking growth is worth reading is because it's good to understand the terminology of marketing because marketing is such a big part of building products and, and growth marketing is such a big part of building products. And it's very important for you to understand the language of your clients. So hacking growth would be another one I would throw in there. What makes UX designers drink? This might be actually a good name for the video. So what does Brad Jensen think that uh, makes uh, UX designers drink? I think the most frustrating part of the job is describing for the hundredth time exactly what it is you do and why you're different from a developer or a graphic designer. And for me, I think what makes me drink as a UX designer who's now running UX teams is actually, I think it's the UX designers themselves frustrate me. How does one prepare for a UX design job interview? So this is a super common one um, and also a super popular question. So here's, I'm just gonna have a look at some of the answers and see what I think of it. So Joseph Dickerson says, the same way you prepare for any interview, relax. I also, you know what? Sorry, sorry about Joseph. Like I, I don't wanna like say anything bad about Joseph, but that's so general, I really don't like answers that are that general. Okay, so I'm gonna just skip that one. Let's see if we get something good from Vincent Shia. Um, in a UX interview, soft power contributes more. How to prepare for a UX design interview? Why become a UX designer? Oh, Artem, Artem, uh, I know this guy. Let's see what he says. He's a senior product designer at WeWork. I built a hiring process for WeWork and I wrote a book phone screening, the step is not unique, on the site, behavioral. Okay, so this is interesting actually. What's good about this answer from Artem is it's actually telling what's likely to happen. So, oh nice. Okay, so this is actually a cool answer because it's putting together almost like a package of the things that you're going to need to know going into a UX interview. One piece of advice that I can give, so all of this advice is fine, um, and there's a few good things in here, a few generic things. One thing I can recommend to you is if you're going into a UX interview, um, when you're showing your portfolio, and I'm assuming that you might have a portfolio, if you don't, we have another video called getting a UX design job without a portfolio. But if you're in the interview and you're looking uh, to show your portfolio, my recommendation is really to try to focus on one key project. Even if you have like five projects, six projects, whatever, focus on one key project and tell the story about that project. Tell, uh, talk about how it started, talk about what you did, talk about the challenges, talk about what, what, what went wrong and how you reacted to it. So for me, one very big thing to prepare for um, a UX design job interview is to um, you know, prepare one specific case study that you can really talk about. But another thing is, <clears throat> and this is just so obvious, but some people don't do it, Actually, you know what? This is my main answer if I was writing here, if I was just to do like one bullet point. Really understand the company that you're going to interview at because we have people coming to interview at AJ and Smart and they're like telling us how much they want to work at AJ and Smart. And then I ask them like one question like, okay, so like what is it about AJ and Smart that's interesting to you? Or like, what do you think we're doing that's different? And it turns out they didn't do any research into AJ and Smart and they're asking questions to me about things they could have found out on the website or on our YouTube channel. So really do your research about the, the company that you're going to or else it's likely that you'll come across as someone who's not really uh, detail oriented. What are the best UI and UX design companies in India? I don't know, but lots of Indian people watch this channel. So let us know in the comments. We need more comments. How can I learn UX and UI design? Our YouTube channel. Woo! What are the best UX and UI design agencies in the world? AJ and Smart. Us too. That's it. What are the best UX courses? Actually, we just made a video on that, so you should check it out, and they're all free. <coughs> okay, who's the best designer in the world? Let's see what they say. It's all just self-promotion in these, in these ads. I just wanna see a name, you know? So I think the best UX UI designer, can I just write it in? I'm just gonna write my answer. Yeah, so you can, you'll see, you'll see that I'm adding. Why, why can't I answer? Huh? Me, me. I'm the best UX UI designer in the world right now, so don't, don't ask any more questions about that one. Or in, it's, it's just all self-promotion here. Um, hey, great one here. Who are the best UI UX designers in Tor Toronto? 
Um, what you might like if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed some of our other videos, I run a podcast every Monday called The Product Breakfast Club. If you're into product design, if you're into UX design, it's really one of the best podcasts out there for keeping up with the industry and also just laughing because it's very silly. Um, we also have a daily vlog on Instagram. You should definitely check out our Instagram. We have videos every week on YouTube that you should definitely check out. And I hope you have a really, really, really great day. Give us a like, give us a comment, give us a two likes, maybe two likes, three likes. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Thank you and goodbye. Can you see me? Hide? Yeah, okay. Who's the best? Who's the best UX designer today in the world? Who's the best UX designer in the world today? Okay. Okay. You can't see me yet, right? How about now? Who's the best UX designer in the world today? Who's the best UX designer in the world right now? <laughs> Let us know below in the comments if you like this video, if you have any other questions, or if there's anything we didn't answer about UX and UI, and let us know what you're wondering when it comes to the world of UX design. <laughs> <laughs> you can do you can make let's make that intro super weird okay. like so weird and at the end play all the ones that we tried yeah, yeah, yeah. let me try one more <laughs>